Hey everyone, it's Andrew from IDB. We have a new tweak to show off today, which is Vigor, a really cool new way to work with your apps. Simply swipe up from Control Center and there's a new little icon to the right of the brightness. When you tap on it, enabled it becomes orange and you see all these different app icons move to the top left and new information show in their place. Take a closer look, tap it, nice animation going up, information sliding in like your current weather, the time on the clock which has that solar watch face or the eclipse watch face from the Apple Watch and more. Some are more useful than others. The music one I really like, at least when a song is playing. So if I go in here and play Fox on the Run, you'll notice we have album artwork as the actual app icon. I think that's really, really cool. Some of them may be less useful, especially if you don't have stuff really on the calendar. And the clock, while that solar watch face is kind of cool there, it's not super useful. If inside a control center, there's a new panel if you swipe to the left, which allows you to manage the apps. So I can choose which ones I want to display and not display. For instance, I turned off health, it's no longer selected, and it no longer displays that little information panel. All the other ones in there as well, and they'll just kind of let you know about a notification you have because they may not have that information view, which are the ones featured here on the top. Currently, it only supports a limited number of apps, which is definitely a downside to this, but more and more developers can take advantage of it and implement these cool widget implement information views, which is really what's cool. I love the weather one. I find that really nice. The music, another favorite. Even health, showing me my movement for the day or activity if you're an Apple Watch user. Another subtle effect here, I can tap on the home screen. You can see information displays where the label is, like an upcoming calendar appointment or sunrise and sunset for the watch or clock application. Inside of settings, you can enable and disable it, which does not require a respring. You can disable control center, which means there's no longer that third pane to the left that allows you to manage the applications. And there's this really nice dark mode, which just kind of replaces that background with a much darker one and makes the text white instead of black on a white background. It's white text on a blackish background. So if you like the dark mode, definitely something I'm glad they include that in there. You can go also and manage the different widgets for the different apps and you can control the refresh time from one hour all the way up to 23 hours is how often they'll refresh to give you new information. Managing your widgets is where you can control what displays. So for something like the activity, I can enable or disable it like in control center and I can choose which displays, kind of my activity or the notifications, the information view or the notification view. So you have two different options for many of the applications in here, at least these default ones here in this top block. While I do wish there was more application support, it is brand new and I'm sure more and more will be added over time. And I really, really like it. I can't wait to see what more people do with it. You can pick it up inside of Cydia for only $1.99. Let us know what you think of Vigor down below in the comments and throw up any questions that you may have. Otherwise, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to keep more tweak videos like this coming. Go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.